Hi folks, we're back in Desert Skies for a major update of this airship building survival game, where the game just got a proper open world map to replace the slightly janky procedurally generated progression of old, and in doing so has made it a properly fun game of exploration. And yes, you can still get hunted down and killed by a murderous serpent. So we start this gameplay video around 20 minutes in, after the introduction locations that I carried over from the previous versions. And check out my old videos if you want to see that. Uh, those um, locations tutorialise you into building basically this thing that allows you to steer your ship. So we have a map now, we have a set map, and we appear to be going nowhere. <laughs> we do probably need to um, turn ourselves to the right, so press G on that, and we'll s do a bit of a swing around and hopefully... oh dear. We do really want to hit that rock. <laughs> Let's avoid doing that. Yeah, we still need to turn a bit to the right. And we'll need to hunt down our locations. Locations will appear on the map as like something like the um, the Coleridge Station icon just there. So we're on the lookout for stuff. We have um, a reasonable amount of food and water, not very much. And we have to find new locations to top all that stuff up. And also build out our airship with crafting stations and furniture and various things like that. So well, really, I think, because um, I really pillaged the first location, I could already build a, a workbench, so let's be doing that. Let's place it here. Um, we can make all sorts of things. Um, unfortunately, we don't really need to at the moment. Um, let's see if we can make a stone pickaxe. No, we need a little more, just a tiny bit more stone, um, which will be very, that'll become very important soon. We can also get water, um, water skins and bandages and many other things and all. But let's check the map. Um, we still haven't found anything. We are going... Well, we're going at a decent clip. We have uh, enough um, wood to supply that. We've got a bit of coal as well. Hunger and thirst-wise, I do need to possibly eat and drink. The inventory seems bigger than it used to, I think, which is very good, a very good thing. So let's eat. And let's also drink. Have we got a water skin? An actual... Oh, there we go. Some. Yeah, we go. Quench the thirst. There we go. That's all very good. And uh, nothing so far. But we'll keep on going. So originally, when it, when it came to flying around in this game, this was an on-rails game that gave you a random location to land at every time you flew a certain distance in a straight line. And then they added a bit of steering to allow more of a choice, but the wind still pushed you in what was basically the same direction to put towards a, a variety of procedure-generated locations. But now, now, now there's this fixed map with biomes and locations dotted around and everything. Uh, there's still apparently a long way to go to fully populate it with more interesting geography, like height, you know, camera... Um, Canyons, hills, and stuff like that. But it's a good start and all that. Um, so, you know, early access and all that. Um, and soon, apparently, they'll be added in co op multiplayer. Now they've rebuilt their. That looks like a location. Now they've rebuilt their engine. Yeah, look. Um, blacksmith. Excellent stuff. Okay, let's turn the ship and head towards it. I think that's probably the first location that we're supposed to find because I think it's got some good stuff in it. You can put a weather vane up. So we always, always know which way's north. There we go. So we do need to land relatively close. Let's do that by pressing that. That was a bit late. Uh oh, <laughs> I'm gonna crash into the mountain somewhat. Oof! But it's fine. Ooh, getting back up there is gonna be fun. Right, so we've got to be careful now because we're on we're on normal mode. So the seeker will hear us at some point and start chasing us. So let's try to be a bit quiet, not walk over patches of gravel like that. Although there is there is a chest just out of reach. But, yeah, it'll wake up if we start making too much of a noise. But, aloe leaf. Ooh. There's quite a few things added since last time I played that. I don't, I don't think I covered the previous update. Um, I don't think I've covered this for like a six months or maybe more. Anyway, danger. Keep out. This is the mines of some description. I think two bombs will get through that. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. Where are we going? Through here. Right, let's see what's what. Already we've got ourselves a brezier. Um, as, as the game points out... Um, Resources do spawn in slightly random locations each time you play it, so you can't guarantee everything's going to be exactly the same. Nails. And various other things. We don't really need to turn the lights on because it's... Oh. <laughs> I said, as it gets really dark all of a sudden. Uh, ignore that. Right, I want to make sure that I... Uh... Oh! A stuffed parrot. <laughs> that was definitely not there last time. But yeah, it does reward you looking around. Yeah, so let's try and take care of the most important business. Let's um, check out... Oh yeah, here we go. A crucible. That's going to help us when we make some iron ore. Although I don't think I've actually got any iron ore at the moment, so I haven't found any. We can cook some up here, or we can make we can craft this on our ship. Oh, we've got we actually do have two iron ore, so let's put a bit of wood in there uh, and choose iron ore, and we shall cook that up and turn it into an iron bar, which will be useful for stuff and that. Anything else around here? That looks like a yep. There we go. 
you do your eyes do eventually get trained to see what you can actually pick up. Is that are those some nails? Yes, they are. Excellent. And there's probably a bunch of other stuff. I think there's a bobblehead hidden there. Yes. Got you. And also a bit of iron ore. And we have ourselves our first bit of iron barrage used for crafting. We've already got loads of stuff. Well, I've probably picked this clean. I haven't explored in like 100% of places, like there, for instance. Um, this th this game does reward you really having a good, good old poke around. Um, if I run, that might alert the seeker, I think. So I'm going to walk and be a bit more cautious. Oh, well, glass bottles for days. Holy shit. That's useful. Yeah, there's been a lot more resources added to this game. Anyway. Oh, it's, look at the date. Oh, look how bright it is out there. Right, okay, so we are getting back. I think there's um, there might be a well we can drink for free from, which might be a useful thing. Um, can I... There's an arrow in that. No, it looks like I just have to jump over. I don't think there's going to be a huge amount in there. Right, okay, so the Seeker hasn't actually woken up, so we are good. The balloon's over here this time. Last time I landed it miles away over there. Box. Ooh, nice. And rope. So there's a few things here and there. Well, I think we're good to go back onto the ship. Um, since um, since the Seeker hasn't turned up, I'm going to quickly go and axe this tree, get us a bit of extra wood. Uh, this axe is almost spent, though. Durability in this is quite brutal. There we go, my axe broke, but also, I also got four wood. Um, otherwise I would have got some fibre from the cactus, but nope. Uh, it looks like I've, I've um, successfully avoided the Seeker in this location. I tell a lie. I think I just made some noise. Yeah, I made a bell noise. There it is. There's the seeker. Okay, fine. Up in the air. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> okay, I need to switch my engine back on in a bit. Yeah, because otherwise we're going to head in completely the wrong direction. Um, let's turn that on. Oh, there's no charge in the wheel. Let's let's just do some winding to get the charge up. Do 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 do. That'll be enough for now. So we're currently heading kind of. Um, northeast-ish. Uh, the wind is blowing over in that direction, though, so we might not be going that fast. So we're just having a bit of explore, see what's um, to the north. I mean, because obviously we don't want to be going south, because that's the edge, edge of the world. So we need to be going somewhere around here. I might even swing around slightly to the left. Um, so press F to turn left. It takes a bit of getting used to this flying, but all good. There's an empty patch over there, which generally means there might be more kind of like trees and things, hopefully. There might actually be, be, be some more kind of floor stuff, like... um. <laughs> some floor stuff. Stuff I can mine, like little stones in there. The intro is I haven't got a pickaxe because I haven't got any more stone yet. Stone can be tricky to find, although it looks like there might be some down there. Hang on. Let's land. Oh, no, that's just a mineable bit. That's not actually stone. I could really do with stone. Yeah. Oh, God, the Seeker could find us here as well. Yes, if I got a pickaxe, I could get... What is it? coal out of that by looking for the seam. It's a slightly different. It used to be node-based, that, but now it's seam-based. Right, so let's quickly craft a new axe. I've got already got everything, which is all very cool. This doesn't take too long. We haven't alerted the Seeker yet. We haven't got a stamina bar in the top left, which is always a good always a good sign that there's a Seeker around. Right, there we go. That's more like it. Oh, no. This, this, this is making quite a bit of noise, so we have to be careful. But no, so... There's not going to be any stone here, unless that's some over there. Yep. Stone pile. Four stone. I don't think they used to be in the game. Perfect. Good. That's that's very good. There's probably a bit more over there as well, but four stone will be enough for now. Let's try and actually get that pickaxe sorted then. Now we're here. Yes, we've got everything. We only need three stone for this. And there are higher grades of pickaxe as well, including Tesla ones. I think you have to find the lab. I think we've, I think I've seen the lab before in a, in a previous video in a previous update. Here we go. Right, let's just shuffle things around a little bit. Let's put that in my six, which is a bit peculiar, but yeah, I haven't quite got used to where I should put things in my hotbar yet. I don't really want my torch in my one, but never mind. I have rules about where things go in toolbars. Tool oh, hello. Oh, that's how it does, works these days. Oh, that's quite cool. It's a lot easier than before. Right, it's time to set off. I'm going to put some coal in there just to get the burn open running. My hunger and thirst is terrid, so let's just drink and eat and eat and drink. Nice. Right, so we need a chest. My inventory is actually getting quite full. So I'm going to go into build mode. Um, structures, uh, apparatus, whatever. Item storage. 
Uh, small storage, medium storage, I think. Immediately go to medium storage. None of your tiny little things. Now, which way around does this go? Oh. Where's the front? That'll do. That'll do as a front. Right, I'm going to bung in, bung in everything that's not particularly useful. Although my stuffed parrot should be good decoration, but my ship isn't big enough for, to support that sort of thing just yet. Well, it occurs to me that I haven't actually got the engine switched on. Um, there's actually something else that's appeared on the map as well. Um, there's a, an iron cave, which is... Oh, I think we've missed it. Hang on. Uh, let's... Now I've actually got a pickaxe, that might actually be quite a useful thing to have. So I'm facing straight on, so at the moment I'm facing... Yeah, so I need, I need to do basically an almost, an almost 180. And I think that's the location where my crosshair is. Yeah, this is it. Okay. So the one thing I really want with this map is an ability to zoom in, but that doesn't appear to be possible at the moment. Anyway, we have now landed. It is now night, so torch out for the lads. Oh, here we go. I found the crev, the canyon. Ooh. And we have some flares. I'm not 100% sure how much we need flares because we've got a torch. And we've got some mushies. And they, I think, provide a, a small amount of hunger. So I'm not going to bother eating them just now. I don't really need to. Um, I'll do the usual thing in this sort of exploration. I'll just keep on turning left. Put my hand on the left-hand wall or whatever. See if we can find any circling cores. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, that's some, something. Like Don't seem to be anything down in this particular bit. Oh, yes, hang on. No, hang on, hang on. Here we go. Gentle tonking. And we have... Lots of iron ore. Skelly. Not attacking me, thankfully. And um, mushy. Now, this should be probably some more seams to mine out. Well, that looks like that looks crackable. Probably not, but. Oh my god! <laughs> I found a secret! I was, genuinely didn't know that was a thing. Okay, cool. Food and iron. That we don't have to mine ourselves. Unfortunately, now we no longer keep on going left. This is um, this is intolerable. My um, entire exploration system has come crashing down on me. Um. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's the end. And here's a seam. Coal this time. Excellent. We need coal. And grab, 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 grab. Look at this. I found a floater. I shall worship it. It's like a mini balloon. Let's not. Let's not worry about that. Right, onwards. Upwards. Put that some coal in there. I've got loads of coal now. And I can also eat. I'm going to press zero as a shortcut to do that because I can't be bothered to use my mouse. In the meantime, let's actually maybe s s expand our ship a little bit more because we are running out of room very quickly. Oh, we need nails. We can actually make nails, I think, but not sure we can do it using this. And we can make a toolkit, but that probably needs nails. I think we need to get nails ourselves. There's a way of making nails, but... Hmm... Don't think we can do it at the moment. Actually, that thing I'm working my way towards is is actually a thing. By the looks of it, there's a, the the lone supply is where this is. So let's go over there a little bit, correct our course. Oh no, we need to do a bit better than that. Yep, it's the supply store. Um, ugh. hang on, turn a bit and go down. Oh, I've turned the wrong direction. <laughs> Oh, and miles away. And the Seekers here as well. A cleverer person would actually re-land the thing, but I'm not a cleverer person. Well, it looks like the sun's coming up at least, so we'll be able to see what the bloody hell is going on. As usual, I need to make sure that I don't walk over any loud things, any patches of stone, because that can give away a position and we'll die. First things first, let's have a drinky. Eh? There we go. If we had a proper bucket of a water skin or something, we could fill that up and take it back with us. Anyone in the bog? Nope. I seem to remember you, can, you used to be able to find the occasional bucket in a bog. Possibly a stinky bucket. Oh, stones! I heard that rather than felt that. Thankfully we got away with it. But that's probably added to our noise totals. Ooh. There's some more stones. Let's, let's try and get come into here because I think this is usually, from what I remember from previous updates, this is where the good stuff is. A book! Some lore as well. Yeah, there's quite a lot of lore in this, I seem to remember from before. Glue! And lots of bandages as well. Ooh, ooh, booze! Found some booze! Our um, adventure's getting fairly full, but thankfully we did put some stuff in the chest, so we still have a bit of room. 
Oh, I bought over those stones. You really got to pay attention to what you're doing. Just think I need to investigate the. Oh, where's the, where's the front? <laughs> just, just need to investigate the main building, and we should be done. I have been very cautious. Desk, food, and drink, and more food. Lots of lads in here. Crucible? Another, okay, another water skin, more rope, more food. Uh, have oh, another brazier, and some fertilizer. Good, poo. Right, bottles, bottles. I have. I did manage to find some nails as well back in the other place. Oh, that was a sneaky one. I think we're all good. This is actually um, alarming. How spooky! How just how well I'm doing avoiding the seeker for once. I think I was. I think I was always a bit kind of um, uncautious about the stones before. That seems to be the key. That's where the seeker will probably pop out of if we're not careful. Okay. One more drink. I've actually got quite a hunger on me, but I'll, I'll sort that out shortly. There might be something up in the air. Oh, hang on, what are you? Are you more nails? More nails! Good. Oh, that's... Ooh. Just do a bit of a round trip to gather additional stones. Oh, hang on. I've been running. That was a mistake. I've been running everywhere impatiently, and that's actually a, again activated the seeker. It's well in the distance, so let's I think we've still got a bit of time. Grab some stones. Where is it? You can throw rocks to distract it, but I haven't got, apparently I haven't got them in the right place in my inventory. And also, he's already seen me. I think rocks are good for when you haven't... Oh my god! When you haven't already been seen. But there are other things as well you can use as distractions, which are all useful things to have. Right, where are we going? Well, apparently we are going in this direction. Which is, again, west, so let's try to head a bit more north. Whilst we chug around the place, it is now now time to um, do some expansion. Now we've got a few more nails. I've got a huge amount, though. I'm sure there's a, an easy way of getting nails. I think there's a way of crafting them, but I forget what. Boop, boop. There. Bit more space, bit more Lebensraum. Right, let's see what else we can craft in terms of crafting. Now, Artificer. We need nails and glass. Grill, we'll need nails. Blacksmiths, we need nails and an anvil. Oh, uh, yeah. Nail rig crafts nails automatically. We need a shit ton of stuff for that. So in summary, we can we can currently craft bugger all apart from a powder basket. Or we can make a sleeping bag. Probably a good idea. Let's put that there. And then E to sleep till morning, F to sleep till evening, G to sleep till midnight. Nice. But we haven't found any new places to visit yet, though. So that yellow, that, that very yellow thing in the in the in the distance um, is not a glitch. It's some um, the next biome. We are going into a basically the yellow desert as opposed to the the yellowish desert, I guess. Um, still no locations, but there should be. I think there's a few more locations in this in this starting biome. But we've already made a bloody good start. I can see how there is obviously meant to be like a bit of a progression. We've been turned away. We've been denied. Oh, that's why. <laughs> we forgot to wind the engine. So whilst there is a bugger and a load of things for us to craft and everything, I am just seem to be short on pretty much everything that I need um, here and there just to make absolutely anything at the moment. So uh, we'll stop here. I think this has um, been a nice little introduction to the new update, which I'm a lot more excited about than, like, <laughs> than I've been about this game for a while. I, th I do like the idea of this fixed map. I think it really suits the game rather than the, um, the weird on rails version from before. So I may be... be Maybe visit this if people are interested, or we may um, do a, another stuff, and we can explore this exciting new biome that's about to come upon us. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching. Do subscribe to Underbinds User as per usual to be notified when new stuff goes live about all the latest and best new indie games around. Where's my passport? And check me out on Buy Me a Coffee, um, or even Patreon if you want to support the channel. So thank you for the videos and keep us going. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.